we've talked a lot about fibromyalgia and the different types of pain. And obviously fibromyalgia does come with a lot of different types of pain, right? Some pains that feel dull or achy, some that feel sharp, maybe heavy type feeling pains, some that are better with pressure, some that are worse with pressure. All of these things will point a keen practitioner, somebody who understands these things, they'll point them in the right direction on what it's on what these pains are telling the body. What different processes are occurring from that? So here's my question. Do you ever get burning pains with your fibromyalgia? Or maybe areas that are just very sensitive to the touch, like you can't take a whole lot of pressure. Now these types of pains are usually very obvious, aren't they? I mean, if it feels hot and burning, it feels hot and burning, you know that. It's very different quality from when it feels dull. And sometimes even just the slightest touch can set you up. Or sometimes maybe it feels like your muscles are burning. Or maybe it's just a burning feeling that you feel all over. I've, I've heard this from a great variety of people. All of these different presentations. Now, what makes this even scarier is that this type of pain can actually signal that your nerves are being damaged. That the nerves are basically being disintegrated slowly over time. What this is called is neuropathic pain. Pain that pain that literally comes from direct damage to the nerves. And one of the key mechanisms here, the key causes of this type of pain is a tiny little gas called nitric oxide. And this is incredibly important to our bodies. Our bodies use this molecule for, for virtually everything that our bodies do. Helps us properly regulate our life, or fuels our lives. Helps us produce energy, helps us, helps our blood vessels expand and contract. It warms us up, it helps us digest our food. But when we get too much of it, when too much of this nitric oxide collects in an area, it becomes highly inflammatory. And that is what starts to cause the damage. Now, when it collects around the nerves, it can actually start to disintegrate the protective membrane around the nerves. This is what will start to cause this sensitivity, this touch sensitivity where you barely brush something and it hurts. There's other conditions that will do this, like, like shingles. It's, it demyelinates the nerve. So even after the shingles are gone, you barely touch an area and it hurts like heck. It can actually start to damage the way that our nerves communicate with each other. It's called, it can damage these axons, that part of the nerve. And now it may just feel like pain and maybe a severe pain at that, but what it's really doing is a very bad sign. It's literally damaging the body. So what do you suppose causes this little, this, this little molecule to be increased like that, to, to collect in these pockets so that causes so much inflammation and so much damage and pain? It's almost too simple. Stress. The research shows that chronic stress causes our bodies to, to increase our nitric oxide production. Now, when this is maintained for prolonged periods of time, this nitric oxide starts to damage the proteins inside our cells. It damages our cells' ability to, pr to produce energy. Now, have you ever noticed this? You have a, a very stressful event. And afterwards, you feel completely exhausted. According to the research, this may actually be damage occurring inside your body, inside your cells, damage to the little mitochondria, the little energy powerhouses that each of our cells has. Because too much of that nitric oxide will do that, it will damage them. And then of course, this burning and shooting pains, very sensitive pains, another big signal that the nerves are being damaged, that the nerves are hurt, they're inflamed. So it's never just stress. When people say, oh, I'm just stressed. You see, it causes horrible damage to the body. I've mentioned this before about how we can become blind with rage. We produce so much of this nitric oxide that it starts to collect behind the retina of our eyes. It actually starts to cause inflammation and burn out these retina, causing them to eventually detach and cause blindness. But that's just stress, right? And we teach people how to regulate their stress response themselves. We show them this. We, we, this is the whole area of our program that we designed we've dedicated to this concept of stress because it is so important. As you see, all the damage that it can cause. We show them how to address this through, through their lifestyle, through their diet, through natural medicines, how they literally interact with the world around them, how they interact with their selves, with the, interact with all the people around them, every moment of every day. We even give them special exercises to help them combat this, to combat this stressful process. Now I gave one of these 
once before, I'm going to go over it again because it is a really important one. I love to get everybody started on this one because it at least works to combat that process a little bit. And it's a simple gratitude practice. It's, it's very, very easy. Just do it, do it right now. You sit comfortably in your chair, put your hand on your heart or your stomach. There's a place that you tend to feel stress. Like when you get stressed, you have butterflies in your stomach. Do you feel chest discomfort? Place your hand there. And then just slowly take three very deep breaths. Close your eyes. And then just say out loud three things that you're grateful for. And it can be any things that you're grateful for. I'm grateful that I had a good breakfast this morning. I'm grateful that I have a house. I'm grateful that I have children. Whatever it is, just say it out loud. And then three more very deep breaths. Give yourself the favor of doing this exercise and do it often. Do it every single day. It's one thing that will help you combat the, the literal damage that stress is doing to your body. So thank you everybody for, for tuning in with me today. As you can see, the, the issues, these issues involved with fibromyalgia are, are extremely real. Don't let anybody tell you that they're not or that it's all in your head. Yes, stress is in our head, but it causes very real damage to the body as you can see. We've got the research to back that up.